Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Been gone for a year, only know like once Life moves fast when you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Look like Tyler Perry She don't love me, she's too scary Good morning Welcome back to my channel, today is a Monday I'm super excited about this vlog and this week if you can tell by the title we're basically going to be doing a new year's transformation just a lot of maintenance a lot of self-care a lot of girly things and my appointments are scattered all throughout the week but our first appointments of the week are today today's monday and we're going to get a wax and a facial so i've got 20 minutes before i need to leave and i still want to make myself a little breakfast and a drink before i go because i'm hungry so that's what i'm doing right now i'm not gonna put anything on my face except for sunscreen because like i said we're about to go get a facial i'm about to be on my period so i did get a little pimple and then i'm the queen of picking if you don't know so i squeezed it last night and i basically have a bruise underneath my skin so here's your sign to not pick because i ultimately am trying to look better but i just made myself look worse so love that for me i'm not going to do anything to my edges either or my hair because well i'm gonna put a little bit of stuff in my hair but i'm not going to do my edges because they're just gonna get wet while i get my facial done or whatever so i'm gonna put a little bit of leave-in in my hair with a little bit of mousse just to revive the curls a little bit. But yeah, welcome back. Happy New Year's. <sighs> I'm really excited about the new year and what it has to hold and just kind of like going into a new era or chapter of my life. If you guys don't know, I'm about to be 25 this year, which I just feel like is like actually very much grown, like 25, yeah. 25 i can't believe i'm gonna be 25 but anyways i'm turning 25 this year and so this year i'm really focusing on what is grown mckenna like what does she look like how's her hair what does she wear learning how to do my makeup and just taking better care of myself and my body and like my mental health just all of the things you know what i'm saying so with that being said we're starting out strong in the new year i want to start being cute looking cute trying new things so I'm sure in the intro it showed basically all the appointments we're going to, but like I said, today we have wax and a facial, and then tomorrow we're doing a lymphatic drainage massage, which I've never done before, to just kind of like help release toxins out of your body, help you like de-bloat, and then we're also going to do a colonic and IV hydration, which I've also never tried before, I'm really excited about that. And then on Wednesday we're getting our lashes done, because we're also prepping for a date, because I have a date at the end of the week, so I also want to do like my beauty maintenance and stuff, so we're getting lashes, I found a new lash tech that I'm really excited about, trying a new style, a new lash color, and then what else? girl oh and then we're taking my braids out and finally i'm not really doing something technically well i guess it is different i've been keeping my hair in braids for the last year nine months basically because i'm trying to regrow out my natural hair and for me it's just easier to keep my hair in protective styles but i'm gonna do my annual silk press and trim this week or maybe big chop i don't know yet i'm gonna go to the, i'm going to a new stylist and she specializes in like growing hair and natural hair and like healthy silk presses and stuff like that so i'm gonna talk to her about it because i do have quite a bit of damage left on my ends from bleaching, coloring, dyeing my hair, etc. So I'm just going to talk to her about it. If we cut it off, we cut it off. And then I'll probably just be back in protective styles for the rest of the year because my main goal is just to have healthy hair over anything else. So that's what I'm trying to get back to. But anyways, yeah, so we're going to take my braids down. We're going to do some hair care maintenance at home. Then we're going to go get our hair done. Um, so we have a lot on the agenda. Like we have an appointment every single day this week and then our date night is Friday day so I'm really excited so take you guys along with me I'm trying to hurry up and finish getting ready because now we have we have like 20 minutes I'm just gonna make I don't know what I want to eat for breakfast I'm probably just gonna do oatmeal and a little chai something quick easy instant oh we also got to do my nails I'm about to put back on three of my press-ons fell off these are just temporary, but I have some new press-on nails coming in from Glamnetic, so I'm also going to be doing my press-ons at home. I like ex 
damaged my nails so bad and I currently just cannot get them done at the salon because they're so brittle and damaged and I probably shouldn't even be putting press-ons on them but you know what we're here now and I refuse to walk around one thing about me oh I'm gonna stay with something on my nails I don't care my hair not might be done my toes might not be done I mean they are and then I was thinking about I don't know if I'm going to get a pedicure or not because I'm really trying to grow back out one of my big toes and I got a pedicure last week. I can always go for a pedicure. I feel like that is the only maintenance that I enjoy getting. Like the two things that I like doing is getting facials and getting my toes done. Anything else, lashes, nails, hair, I don't like doing it. I don't like sitting through it. I don't like going to the appointment. But getting your toes done, I just feel like it's relaxing because you literally just get to sit back, chill and vibe and get a foot rub. Like who doesn't love that? There is a new little pedicure place in Dallas that opened up and I kind of want to go try it out but maybe save that for like another time but anyways yeah girl happy Monday I hope your year is starting off well mine started off slow but now I feel like this week I'm actually getting into the groove of it I feel like transitioning transitioning from the holidays into your new year's resolution routine is kind of hard because everybody's on vacay mode for like new year's and Christmas and then if you have kids you know the kids go back to school but it's like, sorry y'all I literally was like <gasps> <laughs> okay because you know it's like they, they have like a weird schedule for school and then they're out of school next monday but i was looking and i was like is it this monday do we drop our kid off at school and there's no school <laughs> but obviously there was school if other people were there but anyways they don't have school next monday so yeah it can just be hard getting back into the routine i feel like in the beginning of january you're just like trying to recover from vacation mode so just take it at your own pace if you didn't start your new year's resolutions right at the beginning of the year it's not too late okay girl it's not too late you can pick yourself up you can start slowly i'm trying to start back waking up early but it's not something that just like happens overnight it's just something that you gradually kind of like flow back into this so this morning did i wake up super early no but i did do my morning routine it might be a little bit later than i would have liked but it's just about like getting back into the flow of things so yeah i feel like my headband is giving hands made tail, but we're just gonna rock with it usually i put like a little star pimple patch over this or something but i'm literally just about to go get a facial and i will leave on the screen all of the people that i'm going to or their instagram ads or whatever you get what I'm saying if you guys are local in the Dallas area and I think a couple places that I'm going are franchises so they're in different areas but yeah this is not sponsored this is all gonna be my first not my first time going to Tulay but the other places I'm going to it's like my first or second time going to them so I'm just really interested to see how the experience is gonna go and yeah let's get some perfume and I'm gonna put these glasses on because everybody keeps asking me about these glasses I promise I've linked them like a thousand times, a thousand times, I promise. I need to clean them off because they're low-key dirty, but let's get some perfume so we can smell good. This is the body lotion that I use today. If you want to smell like just deliciously scrumptious, you want the fragrance to be noticeable coming off your body from a body lotion, this one by Fenty, it's the Fenty Perfume Body. Yeah, Fenty Perfume, but it's in the body cream. Lovely. And then I learned a little tip. From the girls at sephora because i was there the other day and they were like if you pair it with something that's like a little bit sweeter or fruit like fruitier it smells really good for the weekend i paired it with like uh this valentino and i was like okay that smells good but i feel like we can do a little bit sweeter so i recently picked up the kaoli juicy apple or eden juicy apple and so today i'm gonna layer it with that and see if it's giving if it smells good, if they pair well together, I feel like they do. It's just something, it just smells, it just smells, it smells like very good. Like, you know, maybe we'll get into perfumes another time because I really gotta go. We got 15 minutes now. Um, I want to be on time to my appointment. I also maybe want to practice doing my makeup in this video. I got some new brushes. I kind of want to pick up like a bronzer or something because like I said, at the end of the week, I am going on a date and I do want to wear a little bit of makeup. If you know me, you know I'm not like that good at doing my makeup. <laughs> I've started learning, dibbling, dabbling into like a little bit of stuff, but yeah, girl. Okay, I'm out of breath. And there's no water in there. Awesome. Well, this is my OOTD something comfortable it's winter time but also when you're going to get a wax you want to wear something loose that way it's not like tight or restricted on that area after you're done with your wax and then because i'm getting a facial i'm just wearing a bra underneath here that way i can just like pull the straps down to my sports bra because when you get a facial they kind of like do your decolletage in your neck and all of that so i just wanted to dress really comfy cozy 
feel like I smell really good. I really like this. Like, I want to not like it because it's such a young and fruity scent, but it just smells so good. Like, ugh, it just smells so good. I'm probably going to end up buying the whole big bottle. I had originally just got the smaller one because I wanted to, like, try it out on my skin. Because some things can smell good out the bottle and then not be everything you would have hoped for. Let's go, girl. Make our breakfast. Uh, it's, it's called soft wax, which I'm sure you heard of it. On here? No, not the whole thing. It's just hot water. It's a uh, to the class. Oh my god! It's gonna hurt. It's, you it's gonna hurt. You promised me nothing. I, I promise you. Remember last time and you waited out here live. You was yeah, walking here and I didn't. Want, we didn't do soft wax. We didn't, but um. You did it on my legs and it hurt like the. But it's know? different. I'm only gonna do the top part, and I'm only at saying that because um. It'll, where your hair grows slow, but it'll make it grow even slower if it makes sense. So, where your hair grows? Oh, did I save it? Okay. It's okay, I'll do the small part. <laughs> okay, I'll do the small part and I'll show you. <laughs> hey, butterfly for me. Okay. What is this? Uh, I'm surprised it ain't him, actually. <laughs> he, he got my location. I'm like, do you know I be at work? <laughs> I'm scared. Come on, let's, let's, do, let's talk about some things. <laughs> let's talk about some things. Now I'm stressed out. No, no, I'm, I'm about to sweat. Gonna... I know it's going to hurt. Okay, let's do it. 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 let us do it You okay? Yeah, right now. <laughs> hey, when you got laser, how would like did it hurt? Yeah, like, it hurt? that's why I never went back. Oh, okay, okay. Cause I'm thinking about uh, getting your yeah. laser. Oh, uh, well, well, I'm I looked up how much the machines were though yesterday. I was like, really? Oh, you was gonna try to do it on your own? No, I just I don't know. I've been thinking about maybe I think I was telling you about going to esthetician school. Yes, I and think you so should. Did I you was, start, did you start that book. I know it's right off slow. No, you know? I did. Oh, I did start it, but I haven't. Just, I just, haven't. Just, you, 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 you go slow. Just I'm telling you, when you get to the end, see, look, how was that? It's it like, wasn't good. It no, was I'm that. kidding. It wasn't <laughs> that bad, but it definitely hurts more than the other wax. I think. I feel like it grows slower. Or the, the way she was telling me, um, and I, I, I wasn't a fan of soft wax for a long time. Like in school, I was like, I'm not using it on my clients. It was hard, but I didn't know how to use it. I was using blobs of it. It would get stuck. Have you ever thought about learning how to sugar? Uh, yes, I actually uh, ordered the stuff, um, and I've been watching uh, videos, and a friend that um, started working at a sugar place, she's going to come and uh, teach me. Okay. Because at first, I was, I, I, I wasn't too fond of it. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm still not. Um, but I kind of did some a little research on it. I was like, let me do my little research on it, because everybody kept requesting it from me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me see. <laughs> I don't know if it's something really good or if it's just trendy. Yes, it's trendy. That's yeah. what I was thinking. See, it's coming up so good. Have mercy. The things we do. I wish I could get. Oh, I do want to eventually get laser there, but I just can't get past the. When you go, are you, going, are you going to someone? Um, like, what, what, what color are they? Uh, everybody I've been to has been white. Okay. But I don't know nobody who specifically is like black in the city that does laser. I um the uh, the girl that um that Darian went to. Her name is um. He got laser. He didn't get laser, but they offer got, laser at the uh, place. Where he got that? Uh, her name is uh. 
shine <laughs> i was stalking her because i was because she let me go in the room girl you know she's a medical assistant which is what i want to be okay. so like i was stalking this girl but she what's the difference between a regular assistant and a medical assistant uh medical she's a, has a nurse in like a bsn she has a okay, nursing license yeah, yeah. which that i trust that yeah, more but she didn't want to tell me to go to lasers she's like girl she's like go to nursing go to do laser like and she was telling me to do all that because she's like it's so much money but she offered laser and she just wanted to tell me she's like if you do she's like you need to be she's like it's not a lot of black people that does laser yeah like, that is true and she's like not only that um, a lot of black women get scarred from like once a nothing wrong with white people but they don't know if our skin color and yeah, you know, you're mixed sure. so you're mixed so you still have that color in you you can still scar easily but a lot of white people think that the higher they go or oh i'm gonna the higher it is they're gonna burn you know but they burn the black skin yeah So I don't know when he's gonna go back to her, but what he need to go back for? He's gonna uh do. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna get another chemical pill. Okay. The chemical pill. My legs are getting old. Like I can't even. Well, like, pull one off the edge of thing. Off the edge of the. Like on my joints, is that bad? Do I need to? I'm not, I'm start not. stretching. It, it's just stretching, but it's the position because you're like you're in this position hurt. once. Besides, like doing what you know what you do, but that's a whole, <laughs> that's a different ball game because you know you can move your legs. Okay, you be and, doing all things you could never do yeah. on a regular basis. I'm scrambling. See, I've been thinking about going to esthetician school. I just oh want to go. I want to go part time, which is hard to find. Like, girl, well, I would okay. I would recommend. I went to Ogle. They have part time. A lot of schools have part time, but I wouldn't recommend Ogle because I want to go to the Dallas Skin Institute. Okay, you can go there. I I have clients that actually went there. Um, she didn't go. Uh, she didn't finish because she didn't pay them. But other than that, it, <laughs> it was it was a good school. Um, I was just so adamant about going, so I, I went to the first school that I had research of Ogle, and my best friend went there too. Mm -hmm. But. I know somebody who went to Ogle for uh, cosmetology. Yeah, it's not um, bad, but it's expensive. And it, it's the same criteria. The other schools is cheaper yeah. and all that. So I would just say go just to get your, you know, your license. Yeah, that's what everybody it. says. And then they say they you learn the majority after. Yeah, I didn't know out. until I was in school. Because they were like, you don't learn nothing. I'm like, I'm going to learn something. Y'all got to really pay attention. But it's really just to get you the pass test. Yes, that's what I saw. Because like, I was, like, I was oh, looking okay. up on TikTok and stuff. Yeah, just to get your pass test. And I, um... I'm helping my friend that she's in school. I, you know, I work my server job like once a week. Mm -hmm. um, I'll help her with her test. The test is pretty easy if like, if you pay attention. And it's just about, about cleaning and all that stuff. Yeah. But that's the part you want to pay attention to because people will be dirty. Yeah. Like they don't be cleaning their tools and it's very disgusting and nasty. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think I want to go because I'm like, I don't know. I could just see myself like even after this, like doing that like i don't know i don't know i think i don't know what i want to i don't know if i'll do like everything that falls under the umbrella or if i'll just Girl, do yeah, like yeah, facials you, or, you don't have to you uh, can do like um you can do lashes well you probably won't do lashes yeah, but, i don't think um, i want to do lashes <laughs> i do them but only to like just you know if they see it they book it yeah <laughs> i don't promote them really just because um i don't really you know it's, it's a lot of lash experts that they, they like that live for this kind of stuff that that do this on like for their full-time job you know that's yeah. just one of the services i offer so if they see it they book it they get them done i post it sometimes sometimes i don't yeah it's kind of like if you go to a nail salon and they like oh uh you know they don't, they don't, they don't really promote like waxing the eyebrow they yeah, do it yeah. you ask like oh yeah, yeah you can do it yeah that's something we offer here gotcha. but it's therapeutic yeah, I want to do like maybe like facials, laser, things like that. Yeah, it's like um, rejuvenating facials, um, yeah. skin tightening facials, which I'm about to start off I want to be able to get my thing so then I can do like, you know, like the, you can get like injections at the dermatologist for like if you get a pimple to like mm -hmm. help it go down. So I want to get like, I don't know if I'll go and get my whole like BSN in nursing, but maybe yeah, I'll get like do. I think an AD in. Well, I don't, because, you know, there's, like, two-year nursing programs just so you can technically, like, that. be a registered nurse. And yeah, that's what I'm, uh, that's I, I think school. I told you that's what I'm, I'm going in uh, the beginning of uh, this next year. Yeah. This is what I want to, I do want to do lip fillers. I do want to do injections. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do in, injections or not, like, because I think it's cute and it's cool, but also, like. It's very addictive. Because I was like, I said, like, what do you, what? I was like, what's your, I had to ask myself, what was my end goal? And I was like, I want to do stuff like that. I, mean, I can still do it without going to school. You have but to I, just have somebody over you or something, yeah, right? Yeah, you do, uh -huh, but I'll, I'll have to always work under somebody. Yeah. And I know that's not my, I don't want it. Like, they don't necessarily have to be there for you to work under them. You just have to be, like, under their direction. Yeah, so with that, that's like correct. Like, for the law or something, That's right? correct, uh-huh. So it'll be, like, a doctorate that you'll be over, but yeah. a lot of times they won't sign off if you're, 
you know, because it's this their yeah, license. So yeah. like, um, I know some places that would, but it, it I ain't gonna say it's, it's like not legit, but it, it, I'll have a hard time not having my BSN and I have nothing to know about uh, nursing. You know, yeah, because something happened. Yeah, and I, yeah, and I want to do that so that maybe I can do like IV hydration. That's what I want to do. Why they face? Yes. <laughs> Why they get facial? They can be getting yeah, rejuvenated. Like, yeah. With that, you definitely have to be. Uh, I'm going to get one of those for the first time. To our oh my god, tell me how that is. I need that. <laughs> But that's what I said. I said I can be given like a uh, little hydration uh, things. Okay. I started looking into it on uh, like TikTok, YouTube, and a lot of women like offer that. I, I know some place here that uh, a couple places here that offer that. Where they get well, a friend of mine actually she's from Waco. Uh -huh. She uh, does her facials, but she's she's not a, not a nurse, but she's in school for that. Yeah. But uh, it's a nurse that's in the building, so they come and get the IB and while she's doing the well, facials. Facial. Yeah. See, that's why. See, yeah. Maybe we can just all make like a collective like little med spa together and then you have yes, that's my ego yeah that's my ego like because you know my well the girl who comes my friend who's coming to you to get waxes uh -huh. she just got her she just passed her implants on oh yeah she oh was it hard i know my auntie yeah, she, yeah yeah i was like so i'm yeah. like oh my god that's my ego so i have to think about on the book it tells you all that that's and she's not the reason why i had thought about that i had been and thought about it but she make you like think like a lot she she had me in there up all night oh, like the book yes yeah. it's just getting through that first part is born what's I'm it like, called again uh girls i'm apologizing yeah. and i, and I, I, I mean i did download it on the audiobook and i started listening to it go I, past the the intro part it's born. My, I the, the only reason why i can't read this is my friend told me had i got the book without nobody reading it i would have stopped that's how boring the like the intro is but yeah. once you get into it i'll be like oh yeah she gonna have you girl she got me one to she got me wanting to stop being friends with certain people. Not y'all, but like the people like that ain't got nothing going on with their life. I'm like, yeah. let me stop reading this book because she had me friendless. <laughs> she just, I kind of open your eyes to like a lot of things like that's pointless in your life. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the O shop before? The O shot. No, what is that? Tell me about it. The shot where they put, they give it to you in your like clit and in your coochie. You never heard of that? Uh -uh, what does it do? It, <laughs> it just like makes the area more sensitive. Like what do you? Why, like why? when you like do the do. Like it, oh sensitive to like get yeah. it. Oh no, I never heard of that. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give your man first. Cause, uh, that's funny. Where do you go and get that? You can go at like a med spa or something to have it done. See, that's why I want to offer all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to offer the all that kind of. Yes. Okay. This little stubborn hairs right here was being stubborn. I don't know if I could do waxes or not. It is not for everybody, but it's, I mean, I think once you try it, I think you should try everything. That's what they told me in school. Mm -hmm. Waxing was not for, like, I didn't go to school for wax. I went to school for, to be licensed to do the lashes. That's what I went to school for. Mm -hmm. And what they made is, they like, you know, you have to try everything to pass, blah, blah. Yeah. And uh, people will come and talk at the school. And uh, someone would tell us, like, they like, do everything. You know? Yeah. They like, try everything because you don't. You don't know what you like until you try it. Yeah, yeah so that's okay. So people used to come, everybody used to come to my house. I had everything already for my friend. She put me on game, so mm -hmm. I had the bed. I had everything, and we were gonna go and practice. Practice, was, okay. Girl, I was girl. I'm talking <laughs> ripping up, girl. I just score. I the people that I used to do, girl. I'm like, I ain't know what that's I. That's what doing. I'm scared of of going to school and then letting people do shit on me and then fucking me up. I'm like, I'm well, gonna... in school they will have somebody uh, like they do, they show you the right way and then they do it. So. You will go and like trial and error. Like we trying to do brow tanning and stuff, girl. I had ten somebody brows, girl. They looked at a mess. They was on there for a while. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, we can do a strip. <laughs> Woo. Let's see, here's just the top part. So hopefully they grow slower. Yeah, we will see. We shall see. But if you you got later, so it might you know kind of sort of be the same. Cause your hair doesn't go that. Uh, that fast. I haven't shaved my legs since I got them waxed. Oh wow, see, girl, that's why, girl, that's why I like this. But they're still. I mean, they, the hair did come back, but it's. I I never really have like thick hair on my. That's how. That's how it is for me. Like, on my legs. I could wax my legs like one good time, and I'm gonna be good for a while. It just be the underarms and the. Uh... I still. I haven't shaved my underarms either. When did you get a wax? The last time I was here. I oh wow! Okay. For okay. Time for less. So there's like a little bit of hair there, but I also had laser under my hair, under my armpits, like a couple times. So the See, hair there doesn't grow. See, I, I, I think I probably might do. I might try laser just for a couple sessions, and then like yeah, go you back should to, especially before it'll slow it the surface. Yeah, it'll it'll slow it down. Yeah, for sure. But I think you should definitely go and like go ASAP. Like you'll be the you'll be bomb. Like for real. 
And he already known, so like it, it'll be like a pop that I'm coming work at your man's smile. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would just be fun. Like it's a girl, you the girl you actually went to get your uh, brows done by uh, Ashley. Mm -hmm. I love her. She uh, I met her and she tried to give me homework at her shop. She opened another one in Dallas. Dallas yeah. I love her so much. She I used to work at Hand and Stone, and that's how I met her. We was in there, we was just chopping it up, but she's like, oh, I do brows, and I got her information, and that's when I had first started off, so I was new, and she was telling me how she went from the bottom to the top, but I love her, like, she uh, opened up another building, and her building is like, I can just see yours being like that, just like hers, not just like it, but. Yeah, I like her, she, hers is pretty, I just don't like her location, y'all over here are too far. Oh, you talking about, uh, yeah, she is, she, she's she, like deep in Arlington, yeah, she's like she, deep. she actually bought a, my school, she right by my school. Yeah, she's so cool. You have, you have to pass to get there, I would say, I think. Yeah, she far. Well, she's like a boss boss, and she always traveling. Mm -hmm. Her man from overseas. Mm-hmm, she, yeah. she's still dating him. Well, I remember yeah. she was dating somebody else, um, and that's who Carl was on file. And it should, she would use his card. Oh, cause she, was she getting massages or something? Uh, she was getting facials, but facials. I was just happening to be her facials. And every okay. time I came back, where well, she came back, she would request me. But I ended up quitting uh, one time. And, she, and I'm just like, girl, where'd you go? At the mm -hmm. time, I was working home. I said, I quit. I said, I'm working from home. I, I don't want to work with anybody no more. She's like, oh, my God. Like, she was going to book, but I don't think, uh, I don't know what happened. Because she has a facial girl in her uh in her area, like in her building. Uh -huh. Her name is Ari. I only, I've never seen her, the building. She, does she still have the one in Dallas? Oh, um, see, I don't know. I remember she opened it. Or like she was, she was recruiting people for it because she was like, hey, do you want, would you like a job at my, you know, place or whatever? But mm -hmm. I didn't, um, I wonder how she pays her girls if she pays them hourly. You have to have your own clientele. They pay like a booth rent or something. So that's, oh, okay. that's why I had to her. I like that though. I did too. At the time, I didn't because I was like new. I yeah, had just quit. Yeah. I didn't have no clientele. Yeah. Uh, well, I had clientele, but not enough to be paying like rent at home and there. Yeah. So I think I told her no. But now she rags, I'm like, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she has I have to get that last little bit here. I don't know why it's so stubborn. I think I think now it's okay. So I'm gonna be here like another year. Yeah, uh, another year too, because I want to do a storefront, but I'm like I have to really ask myself like, am I really ready? Because you know I'm gonna have like probably two thousand dollars in rent, you know, light bill, cable bill, you know. Yeah. Um, and I I can afford that. I just don't want to be struggling trying to pay my stuff at home. So. What I'm focusing yeah. on that on now is just you know getting better, getting more services in, um, like sugaring, um, like just hydro facials, things like that. Yeah. And then building more clientele because the clientele I have now is good. You put your legs straight. <laughs> With a storefront, I'm gonna need more to actually be successful, even during yeah. some slow season. So I have to think about that. I was like, okay, you know what? You're, and I'm only like two and a half years in. I'd be yeah. feeling like I'd be like four years in. For sure. I think I'll probably start with a little she shed in my back. <laughs> See, uh, and that's fine. And that's fine. And Just that's, make that's it cute. You, 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 yeah, you, yeah, it's you know, you know how it goes. And it's fine. It was actually fun. I had got an apartment just for that. I had uh, showed Aaron your page and I was like, find my coochie on here. And he was like, <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna be able to do it. He started scrolling. He picked the wrong one. I was like, I don't even think he went further, like down far enough. But. Wait, he he could that then you could. put him in a bad position. <laughs> okay, you can put your body back thinking about maybe learning how to do braids because I was like all my braider do is watch TV all day and I was like that sounds like so much fun so if you do that then you would need to uh, well you don't even need mm -hmm. yeah. but it's more um, options for you you can do nails you can do it's a, well hair nails you can if you want to you can dye and make wigs mm -hmm. you can just cut hair from hair I'm just not good at hair so I'm not gonna try Me either. <laughs> They tried their best to talk to me. I said, uh-uh. My best friend told me that they would try to talk me into um, doing Cosmo because it's more money mm -hmm. and longer. So, you know, the, it was during COVID. So the whole thing is like money, money, money. Yeah. She was like, hold your ground. If not, you're going to be in school doing something you don't, you really don't want to do. Because they don't really go. They go with facials, but it's like a day. Did you do full-time or part-time? I did full-time. That's, that's why it was hard for me. Mm -hmm. But something just told me to go and get it. Yeah. So I had I did from nine to five, 
then I worked from six, like six or seven to two, three in the morning. And I literally had one day off a week, which is Sundays. That's why I'm so, I be trying to go so hard about my business. Cause I'm like, what I went through, I was broke. Yeah. I was in the process of like getting evicted. Like it was during COVID, so I didn't really have any money. Mm -hmm. um, my car was like behind, like it was bad. That's why I don't know, because I feel like I can't commit to full time with the boys, like, trying to, like, well, do this, do school, so, and yeah, I would be a mom. I'm like, I so would, I if I was a mom time. or, like, thing like that, I would do part time. It's just me. I didn't have. It. I don't know if the Dallas place offers part time, so I don't know if I'm going to have to keep looking or what. Because I think they offer, like, only full time, and their classes start, like, next week. So I want to say they have how, how much? How long did it take? A year or nine months? For me, it took five months. So I did full time, full -time. but okay. part time should be uh, probably eleven like months. Years. Okay, which is no biggie. Like it's no. I don't think it'll be a problem for you. And all the things that you're into, you'll be able to do. I think their schedule too is like from like it's not even like all day. I think it's like eight to three. If I'm right, I was looking at their website and stuff. And I was like, I could maybe do that, but I'm like, then when you know, I work, I have to stay up all night. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready to go back into hustle and grind. <laughs> that's what it was. You just gotta figure out if that's what you really, really want. I know. But it's but like, look at the later picture. Like, it's gonna be money flowing in, especially what you want to do. You know, it, it's gonna be money flowing in for sure, for sure. That's why I was like, I wish I would have thought about being a uh, you know, going to nursing school. Yeah, a lot of the esthetician, like, nurses that I see, I guess it's called medical esthetician, mm -hmm. but they started with esthetician school and then did, like, a two-year RA yes. program. So, I think that's probably what I'll do. Because I just want to do it all in one. And a lot of people will call themselves medical estheticians just because they have a medical assistant. And I'm like, no, that's not. Oh, um, yeah, medical assistant license? Do, you can't even do nothing with the medical, like, you can't do nothing with aesthetics with the medical, like, aesthetics. Just, yeah. Like legally, should I say? Yeah, I'll just want to. I probably will still have to have like a doctor because I think you have to have a doctor. For, like, know, so even if you do get your RN, your RN, RN if you do yeah. get it, you'll still have to. But you're more likely to get someone to sign off on you yeah. by like if you want to open a uh, kind aesthetics or like something like that. Yeah, they'll they're more like, oh, okay, she got her, you know he'll look at your record or like you know your yeah. credentials and he's more likely to do it without all that you won't have to come with some hard that's what the Vincent, lady was telling me she's yeah. like you won't have to come it's less likely because if something happened it's on him yeah unless you've just been in the field for so long you know all these years and, yeah. and you know and you just can't go to be you know get your bs in yeah it's less likely that they'll sign off which is understandable so i owe my old school um like 2000 well i went to like a private school Class. So not Ogle? Going on, classes going on, three, two, one. Um, no, I did. I went to Ogle, my old college. Um, oh, okay. So they had let me, it's like kind of two different things. Mm -hmm. So I had found out A for both, but um, I owe them, so I can't even get my transcript until I pay them. So I already made a payment already, like a 500, so I'm going to just do it in increments. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to start in January. I it's, just paid off my student loans. I don't need no transcripts because all my credits expired, but. What do you mean? I went to school for about, uh, for three or four years. No, what? like three years. What's the name? Expires? School, your credits expire yeah, after five years. And really? It's been five years for me, yeah. Oh, well, baby, I, I, girl, I didn't made a hope. <laughs> so, wait, so I don't need to trust for real? Probably not if your credits are expired. If you don't want to use your credits and they're expired, then no, you just have to use your no, like, high school I, diploma. Okay, we're going to do that then. Oh, I did not, I'm glad, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm not going to go over this. No, please do. Why not? Well, It'll come up. It doesn't I'm a, hurt. Okay, I'm going to barely go over it then. I just don't want it to be. It's already in the skin. It's just like bruised under the skin because I just be pushing too hard and then I be oh, okay, over okay. it. Oh, no, your skin. Oh, my God, it looks good. Besides the scar. finally clearing up. Yes, besides the scar. So, definitely keep uh, used to using your, your retinol. Your, not mm -hmm. your retinol. Oh, yeah, your retinol. I started using that bar soap that you told me to get. Yeah, girl, it's, girl, it's the best. <laughs> used to drinking your water. I, I love when I do your skin analysis because you already know what to do. We just kind of like just doing a quick glance. I don't have to like look too deep into it. Um, we still have a light uh, pigmentation, which continue to use that bar, continue to exfoliate, continue to get your microdermabrasions. Um, stop picking your face. Like I mean, um, if you gotta bite your finger or something, then like. <laughs> I know, and you know what? I didn't like, do it all day, and then it was right last night when I was about to get in the bath. 
looked at it in the mirror and I took my little pimple patch off and I was like, it looks ready. And then I just started like, you will know it, it okay. and you will know when it's ready. When it's ready, your body's gonna like, hey, you know how they, you know how it, like, it was out of head. It wasn't and like, it's okay. It was just like it's okay. Let it. Like you know how you have to use a bathroom or anything? your body's gonna, your body's gonna do everything you need to do. Like even with your baby. Like if you was savings, if you was to go have your baby in, you was like, I'm not pushing. Baby, that baby gonna push itself out. Like yeah. literally, your body is going to do it for you. So like, when it's ready, it's ready. People, that's what people are, like mistake or that's what they kind of mess up at mm -hmm. is where they like, okay, it's ready. It's not ready because it would, it's gonna pop on its that's own. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. It's gonna, it's gonna, and some when they do that, that's good because it doesn't leave a scar. I'm not saying it's not gonna leave a scar, yeah. but nine times out of ten, it's not gonna leave a scar because it popped on its own and it's made to protect you. It doesn't want to leave a scar. It doesn't, you know, your body doesn't want to, you know, it closes up right after. So yeah. definitely, like when it's ready, it's gonna let you know. Like when okay. you gotta do number two, it'd it be like, hey, <laughs> Kelly, you better go. Or it's coming. It's gonna yeah. come. And I, I love that about our body, especially women. Like it's gonna let us know. I know. I mean, you doing good though. Like I, I know people. It be like boom, boom. They're like, girl, I went crazy. Like no. <laughs> my face has been clear. I'm about to be in my period. I think that's why I got that little bump. And then I was like, okay. yeah, it looks good. I do see a little bit of. My nose is kind of bad. Like as far as like just a little like clogged pores and mm -hmm. stuff. So we'll get those of course um on the extraction part but other than and that. And then right here I was gonna say like I feel like my pores just look really big and I don't really know. And so okay so when pores uh, appear big because pores are never uh, they're never big they just kind of well like I said they, they expand so it can uh, be a sign of dehydration so like okay. you know how I told you so sometimes it may appear oily and dry right here I don't know if it does but if you ever feel like okay oh it appears big that's just a sign of like Hey, we need something like something so maybe um i don't know how much are you moisturizing how much are you moisturizing pretty well i mean i want i put moisturizer on every night so okay so um just if it seems like it's dry or may, so it could be lack of water lack of um, moisture okay. um sometimes it can be both um so if you're not like drinking enough water and but you're taking a lot of salts or you know you mm -hmm. just, you know taking a lot of vitamins things like that you know vitamins all that kind of stuff your body takes from like it, it absorbs it so it can leave your body dry you can drink a gallon a day but then you can go eat like two saucy burgers okay now now you only down to half a gallon but you drunk a gallon yeah. so it's kind of like that um or you can also try moisturize twice a day i moisturize twice a day so in the morning i don't clean my face like with the soap and stuff i just kind of wash off what i did that night mm -hmm. and i do my toner uh serum moisturizer and sunscreen yeah, my son. Well, I do moisturize, in, I guess, in the morning, but it's like combined with my SPF, so it's like a moisturizer. Okay, yeah, so that's what I do. I, cut, uh, I put it together. So maybe, um, I would say water probably. So if you're moisturizing daily, then that should be good. I'm trying to do a little bit more intake of water. Okay. Other than that, that is good. It looks good. No more picking. I knew yesterday too. I was like, "You about to go?" But I was like, "I know she's not gonna pop it, so I'm just." <laughs> <laughs> you, I, look, you already know. <laughs> you already know. I don't be mad. I don't. I, I'm like, it's not ready because I, I can. We can do more damage than anything. So yeah. I don't be one that it don't be. It's not worth it. It's not worth the scar. Just Sorry. you know, all you gotta do is let it sit for a little longer, and then boom, it's back to normal. Okay, we're gonna use our usual our charcoal clay cleanser, which I love. So it's gonna bring everything out. That one's from Derm. Skin script. Skin script. Okay. Like I use this um, when I like a like a weekend, like the New Year's weekend. I mm -hmm. went to Houston to see my aunt. I needed it because I was not. I was. Oh drunk. yeah, how was New Year's? It was so fun. I got so drunk, and I haven't drunk in a week. Today makes a week. Yay me. <laughs> I know it sounds like new year, new you, right? Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, slow up on drinking. Yes, I need to just because I'm trying to get back in the, and then I'm about to start taking Ozemic. Oh, you, I thought we decided no. I, I know, but it's just okay. Just I was gonna do it for like a month too, just like. And then what if you gain the weight back worse? Or then what? Oh gosh, isn't like, that what your friend was telling you? Yeah, but. Well, I haven't even did the. I rescheduled the appointment because I was like, I, I didn't cancel it because I was unsure, and it takes forever for an like, appointment. Yeah. But I don't know. See, now you got me thinking. Cause you're right. I thought about it, but I'm like, it's just a head start. But I know if I stop the drinking, it'll, it'll. I ain't gonna say it's gonna fall off, but with the not drinking and yeah. choosing healthier choices, it'll fall off. Plus the working out. I do take fat burners. It worked before. So my mom is on something like Ozempic, but it's not Ozempic, and she said it. Well, it obviously definitely has worked, and she's mostly trying to lose weight to like lower her blood pressure because she's not big, and you're not big either. But in general, she has high blood pressure. Yeah. So she like, but when she loses weight, her blood pressure, like, it gets lower or whatever. So, anyway, so she started taking it, but the only thing she said is like it works, but it 
and it helps her to not drink either because she drinks a lot so it helps her to not drink but it's because she loses the appetite like she was like food don't taste that good drinks don't friend, taste that friend, good she she's like she, she don't want no food she's like yeah. I don't she said she's she's like when i eat well she's past that part now but she's like before girl she's like, i would throw up when i try to eat things like that i'm yeah. like i don't want to not because it makes you it gives you basically like a food adverse however you say the word so yeah, that's so the only thing. That was only the bad part. See, that's the thing. Yeah, she. she I mean, she likes it because she says it makes her lose weight. But do you want to lose your taste of? <laughs> I, I, the what I do, like, I, you know, I work on, you know, Thursdays at the restaurant. I do mm -hmm. this. My friend was like, she's like, friend, I have no energy. She said she almost passed up. See, now I'm talking about. It, I'm like, mm -mm. yeah. But I know about. And then yeah, no. And then my my friend, she was on it, and she said that it made her really nauseous. So she, she yep. stopped taking she it. She made her nauseous. She. Yeah. Um, and then it may uh, is it in, it's an injection yes and I don't, I don't know if I can do that anyways yeah. I just know if I give myself six months from January to June just I'll, go get I feel like you'd be better off just go get like, like wasn't you going to do that anyway yes but there I end up I don't know I, I don't even need him to go but I'm just saying like I would rather if go I'm gonna, with him yeah. if I'm gonna go over there I'd rather go with somebody go with someone yeah and I have my passport now so yeah I'm going to get lipo soon hopefully i keep telling myself i am why but where i need it in my stomach my arms see and i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put the fat back in my boobs because you know when i got my reduction it made me lose a lot of volume in my boobs and i want my boobs back so i'm like i'm gonna just take the fat from here and i'm gonna put it see if i was gonna do, i was when i was doing like a consultation i was looking mm -hmm. um and i was like i was gonna do the back area they would like do yeah, the back. i'm gonna do my stomach my back my arms my chin where are you gonna go probably california it's more expensive but they have it's wake lipo so it's kind of similar to what darion did but then i can also get the transfer like back to my boobs and stuff and there's basically like no downtime like you have like one recovery day and then and that's the only thing i probably will get is that is and like you don't have to wear the binder and like all of that which i don't want to have to have like i don't want to do all that like i don't want to have to wear the waist trainer for 20 hours out of the day no. and like all of that or sleeping and all that yeah i used to do the massages for the, the girls mm -mm. i think they offer kind of like a similar thing at um mia aesthetics but they don't do it in dallas they only do it at the austin location so there's another place it's called like sculpt it's in california it's in california how much they charge for like a each lot. area oh. it's expensive and I, I, had would, I wouldn't want to just get my stomach done. I would, I would want my stomach thighs. And well, you know, in the U.S., they have to. They can only do a certain amount. Like they can only take out so much fat at a time. See, I don't want to be one of those ones where like, oh, her stomach's flat, but she's thick in her arms. And, and <laughs> I know that's what I was like. I need my arms <laughs> like, and everything. Like if anything, I would do my arms first. <laughs> okay, <then>. no, <laughs> ser no, seriously. That's that's what make like the arms and then like. That's a tip. That's a day giveaway right there. And my arms are big. I'm like. They'll be yeah, like. I so I'll be seeing girls that do that. They'll, they'll go and get like pulling their stuff. I'm like, I can see your arms. <laughs> so you're big. <laughs> like you, you would. I mean, you look okay, but it's like a. I don't know. It just. I you really, definitely got lipo. So I, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna you know use these next six months and I, I'm gonna get myself to like July August to to go. Mm -hmm. That way I can go ahead and pay it, pay it off, um, and then get to the size that I want. Or they just take the you know cause the I, last I, little bit. Mm -hmm. out. I feel like I can lose you know to my face down because th that's that, that's the problem. I don't want to go get it and then my face still chunky. My arm. Well, when but, they say when you get oh okay I get what you're saying like just get stomach like oh yeah yeah like people you know you because they can only take so much right yeah. so or. The, and I mean, I could probably divide it up, but they will have to take out my face, they'll have to yeah. take out my lip. Like, so I feel like if I do that, oh, okay, see, I don't know. See, every time I talk to you, I would be like, okay, I'll come back to my senses. It'd be Darion. He'd be like, no, friend, you need to, to go and this and this. I feel like I just need a little, like, the only reason why I don't think I'm going to, like, go to the gym and try to lose weight before is because. Yeah, you, you they, they won't take me. They're going to be like, yeah, you too little. They, and they tell you, like, like the place that I consulted with in California, they were just like, don't try to like start losing a whole bunch of weight before you come. Which I don't know why they said that, but they were like, just continue on your normal diet basically. And then afterwards, I think you still eat regularly to like feed the fat if I do get the transfer like back to my boobs so it doesn't like go away. Cause that's what they say i think when you get a bbl too like you can't just like you have to like feed the fat yes so you do uh -huh. and then the, the butt kind of expands um because i had like when i worked at the med spa that's what happened i had learned about that um but that's what i'm going to do because for me to go be like well i would have to like you know slim slim down my face i would have to do certain stuff because if not i'm gonna look crazy 
I'm just ready to be skinny again. I was like, this year in the summer, I will be skinny. I don't care if it's by lipo. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to be skinny this summer. I'm going to be 25. Yeah, I'm about to be skinny. I hope you have a party. I am going to have a party. When is your birthday? June 25th. Period. And so that's why if I get myself from January to June <laughs> to do what it is, at least sit my face down and then go, like, I'll be good. I feel like that. Now that I'm talking to you about it, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go and then still be ch chunky in the face, which, yeah. you know, you could just tell. Yeah. Yeah, I think, have you ever been to Kiss before? Yes. Do you like it? I love it. Okay, so I'm thinking about renting the lounge. It's a vibe. For um, my birthday. I was going to do that for my birthday, but, um, so you know how much it costs? Um, I, I wasn't going to rent. I was going to do like a, a big party. So they were like mm -hmm. saying 150 per person. But I feel like it would be cheaper if you rent something out. Cause then one you, per, 150 No, was person. it 150? No, it was 70, for, It was 70, per 75 per person. Does that I was, come with food? It does. Okay. I'm like, hold on. But, but when I did it, my birthday dinner, it was very last minute. So I, I kind of like, I didn't I didn't do it. Yeah. I was like, um, like I'm wait, I'm last wait minute. The long, the yeah. Long, yeah. Long. If I did it a month in advance, people would have been like, okay, 75. But it was like literally two weeks. I'm like, you know, I don't know how people money is. So. Yeah, I think I want to, because I know they rent out the, I, I initially wanted to rent out the whole space, but I think I'm going to go eat there first and then schedule like a tour to see, like to decide what I want to do. But I definitely want to have like a big party because I never really have parties for my birthday. Like I don't really ever do anything, but I feel like 25 is, it's going to be like that's a 25. The, that, that's thing. the mom, that's the mom marker. <laughs> yeah. And your next one will be 30. 30 that's yeah. what I did. So I'm going to have like a big party and then I'll probably like travel somewhere. That'd be lit. I'll smoke soon off the party. Yeah. Head to the airport. Okay. I want to fly like semi. I want to do something. Like it's got to be something. I want to do something big. I'm like I told Aaron already. I'm like I want a Chanel street. for my birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm like I want a Chanel and I want a Dior. <laughs> it's my twenty fifth birthday, so I'm like get to work, buddy. <laughs> I like that. Um, the last like the the last fish you like the the dome cleaning and the microdome. It was fine. I don't think I noticed like a like a super big difference, like versus just like doing the just the micro derm uh -huh. on its own. So okay, not sure it wasn't any. Uh, but it wasn't too like you do. My too. skin was a little bit sensitive, but I think yes. that's because like I did go right back to using my retinol because I just right was, right, right, right right after like the next day I think no. But it's I, just because I'll be start texting you. <laughs> I'd be scared that my face is gonna break out if I don't just keep doing my normal like routine you know what I'm saying like Okay, our first appointments are done. So the type of facial that I got, because I didn't really talk to you guys when I first got in there, but I get microdermabrasion, which basically just helps to lift up the dead skin that you have on your face and just even out your skin tone. It works really well if you're also using other exfoliants like retinol and stuff that helps with skin cell turnover. I've talked about it a couple times, but just for the girls if you don't know. So yeah, this is what I look like after. My face is always a little bit red after my facials, but today's actually looking not very red. Obviously, I picked here, so she went over it lightly with the microdermabrasion, and I'll just continue to like ice it and put rescue balm on it while I'm at home, and then hopefully it will just seal up. It might leave a little bit of a mark, but that was my fault because I picked. So anyways, yeah, I need to put a little lip gloss on my lips. My lip's a little bit dry, but that's what I got. So that's everything that we have today. And I guess I'll just see you guys tomorrow. It's raining, so I'm about to put everything down. 
put my little church service on or podcast and drive home i'm trying to think i feel like there was something else i had to tell you but i can't remember so if i remember we'll talk about it tomorrow but agenda for tomorrow we've got the lymphatic drainage massage we've got the lymphatic drainage massage at the talks and then we're getting the colonic and also IV hydration to replenish my body after the massage and the colonic, which I'm really excited about. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. It's 9.30. We're about to head to our first appointment of the day. We have our lymphatic drainage massage and then we have our colonic and then we have IB hydration, which is actually at the same place that we're getting the colonic, so we won't have to leave. And I'm going to ask if I can do them at the same time. I don't know if that's possible or if one defeats the other, so I'm going to ask when I get there. But yeah, our first stop is the talks. I just wanted to give you a quick overview before we get there because I did ask them about recording and they said I could only put five seconds of each body part in the clip or that's what they would prefer so it's a lymphatic drainage massage so basically they're gonna like massage and i'll show you guys when i get there but i'm just gonna tell you what i did to kind of prepare i guess so they say not to eat or drink anything at least 30 minutes before for optimal results i really haven't had anything this morning at all besides a little bit of water when i first woke up this morning and then i wore just like a little thong underwear because you have to undress and then like a sports bra top and i'm just wearing loose clothing like i was yesterday because it's cold it's winter time whatever but i want to be comfortable afterwards and something i can change into easily so yeah this is a otd i think that's it as far as their what you should do before you come type of thing i heard it could be a little bit painful so i'm trying to like brace myself for that also i'm going to be interested to see what my results are gonna look like because as y'all know, I have three kids. I'm not a skinny mini girl. Okay, definitely have a pooch. Just covered up with a little high waist. But the majority of people that I go, they are on the thinner side and then they leave more defined in tone. So somebody with my body type, I'll be interested to see if you can see a difference or if there's any like deep bloating or puffiness that is reduced. And then with the colonic, I think that will also help because I'll be getting rid of all of the stuff that's basically in my stomach. And then I just wanted to try the IV hydration just to see if it will help me feel good after one. Getting all the toxins and things removed from your body can make you kind of feel sick even after just regular massages. So I'm hoping that this will help with that. And I've never tried it. So I was like, I want to try it, see what it's giving. And yeah, I'll probably talk a little bit more about the IV when I get there and tell you guys what exactly I'm getting in my little bag or mix i just wanted to check these things off my bucket list really <laughs> so that's what today is today is more of like a health and wellness type of day no beauty maintenance so yeah this is what my face looks like this morning it's very clear i'll show you guys this later but it's healed a lot so we're looking we're looking pretty good if you know where i started on my acting journey it's where i am now it's a night and day difference so let's go get in the car head over there and Hopefully it goes well. Okay, we are headed to the next location. We're pretty close to, so we're gonna be a little bit early. Okay, so I have some time to talk. Okay, I'll put you guys in park. Okay, Grala. Let me set you up here. Okay, so I didn't get a lot of footage, unfortunately, which I apologize. That wasn't my intention. I really wanted to give you guys thorough, in-depth at these appointments and what takes place and like how it goes and things like that. But that specific place, like I said, they didn't want me filming a whole bunch. And then I realized once I got in there anyway, it's dark. Like there's like one little spotlight and it took forever for my eyes to adjust so I could like actually see, but you use a flashlight when you first go in there. So overall, I feel like my experience was good. It's definitely 
uncomfortable but not painful as far as like the massaging technique that they use if you've ever had like an intense massage that was just like a little heavy-handed that's kind of what I would compare it to I feel like the most uncomfortable place was definitely my stomach area which I knew it was gonna be and that's what they focus on the most I'm gonna see how I feel obviously I didn't take before and after pictures which as soon as I thought about it I was like uh, I should have so that you guys could kind of see but I didn't really think there would be much of a difference and I kind of looked at my stomach when I was in the mirror and I look less bloated but I don't think that it's anything super super noticeable because I'm not already a super slender person if that makes sense but yeah so they do it all the way from like your legs it's just kind of like regular massage so they do your legs your arms your stomach and then you flip over they do back back of your legs and yeah i could definitely feel it working in my stomach pushing everything down my stomach was even like gurgling a little bit so i definitely wouldn't eat or drink anything before you'd go like i think i would definitely follow those rules that they have but yeah based on how i feel she said basically my body will be in a detox process for like the next 72 hours and then for the next 12 hours you don't want to drink any or eat anything like super salty or heavy or greasy that was going to fill your body back up with like that sodium or salt and then she said if you do to just drink a lot of water but the main thing is stay hydrated so we are going to get an IV which is going to obviously help with our hydration and then I'll I don't have my cup with me actually but I'll do my water intake or try to be on top of that but about to head to go get our colonic so I've had a colonic before it is a very weird feeling I won't lie but I definitely noticed all of the gunk basically did come out of my body and I wouldn't do them regularly I think all of these things that I'm doing today I would maybe do quarterly just as a way to like detox my body body and like give it like a little bit of a restart yeah i've had one colonic before so i'll show you guys the setup when we get in there it's an uncomfortable feeling just as the water pressure being in your stomach it's not painful it just feels weird and kind of exposed like you're just sitting on this table with this thing in your butt and then it's like you're going to the bathroom and it's just a little just awkward and i don't think that when i went like they i don't know if i had a remote for the tv or not it's like 45 minutes to an hour and i'll just probably watch something on my phone i'm gonna ask them if i can do the iv at the same time because i think that would just like save me a little bit of time because both of them are 45 minutes to an hour things and if i could just knock them both out at the same time that would be great so i'm really hoping they can set me up on the iv or whatever and then i can just hop up on the table and then they'll come back in and they turn the water on for you anyways and then they can start my iv or whatever so i've lost two nails so far i'm waiting for my press-ons to come in from glamnetic so we can do my nails if they don't come this week i'm gonna be so sad okay anyways we are headed there so I'm put my seatbelt on and let's go oh also about the place that i just left the talks it's super cute i'm gonna see if i can like insert some pictures from their social media on there because i didn't get a whole bunch of stuff right when i went in they were like okay check in and then they were like go to the bathroom and then when i came out they were like come back into the room so i didn't get a lot of b-roll of the actual place but anyways i'll see you guys there <laughs> Sorry, I have the air blasting, but it's so cold outside. I still don't know how to work all the buttons in this car, honestly. Okay, anyways, it's literally freezing. That would be my only complaint about the whole thing was I was so cold. But overall, it was good. I feel clean. I feel like empty if that makes sense but not in like a bad way like hungry i just feel like so relieved my body just feels like light like light i don't know how else to like describe it but i just feel light my stomach feels light my body just feels light so yeah i got the iv i'll let you guys know tomorrow how i feel about it as far as like hydrated if my energy is a little bit better if my sleep's a little bit better there's supposed to be a lot of wellness benefits to the iv hydration also again sorry couldn't film a lot it just really wasn't anything to see the way you have to do the colonic is you have to clench hold release 
push and it's kind of like this thing that you're just like doing over and over and over again while the water is coming in going out coming in going out and all that so it's really not that pleasant of an experience to really film you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but I do feel much lighter very relieved my only thing is now I don't know what I want to go and eat because I'm like, I feel so good. I don't want to put anything horrible into my body, but also I haven't eaten since yesterday at dinner time, so I'm very much hungry. Very much looking for a little snack, a little bite to eat or something. And then I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna cook for dinner also tonight, so. Anyways, girl, I'll see you tomorrow. Our next appointment that we have tomorrow is getting our lashes done and then our hair out just pull my edge we're also gonna do some at-home self-care maintenance tomorrow and I need to take down my braids and like do a hot oil treatment and all of the things so I will see you tomorrow and so we're gonna start off with um, washing um, your lashes first okay and then we'll start patting you down okay um for lengths have you ever had a set that you didn't like like too long too short i like shorter you like on the shorter on side on the shorter side okay. yeah have you had text tell you like the longest you've ever gone um i think the longest i usually do is like i mean i've been in the past like all the way up to like 15 16 but okay. i think like the lowest and where i've been usually is like eights tens so okay so you like to stick to like medium shortish yeah. ones okay do you want to do that as your longest today or do you want to go anything shorter? Um, I think we can stay around like medium short today okay. and see how it works. Right. And then here in a second, I'm going to just ask you to open up your glucose so I can um, okay. see what we're going to map today. Have you had any allergic reactions or anything before in the past or anything? No. No? Okay, perfect. Um, are your eyes typically sensitive to the glue? Not really. No? Perfect. Are you on any medication right now that could um, affect your retention? Like any um, weight loss kind of medication or anything? Mm-mm. Okay, perfect. Did you have a busy morning this week? I mean this morning? Not really. I think I have my alarm going off though. I'm sorry. No, you're good. No, I've just been going to... I have like an appointments marathon week. I've just been going to a lot of maintenance mm -hmm. appointments. That's good. What about you? Um, no, you're just... You're my only girl for today and then I have my appointments. Okay. Do you feel like any irritation, like any um, lash shampoo still lingering around or anything? No. Okay. Are you originally from here? Texas, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go, go ahead ahead. and open it for me real quick. How does that feel for you when you close? That's good. That's good. Does that poke you, bother you anyway? Mm -hmm. um, do you have a style that you typically like for your sets? Like cat eyes, open eyes, um, kittens? I like cat eye. The cat eye? Yeah. yeah, I was thinking a cat eye will really suit your eye. Do you still want to do that for today? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, we got our lashes done. We're about to head home. Sorry I didn't talk to you guys this morning. I was kind of like rushing out of the door. Because I was just, I, I don't know why I was taking my time getting ready. And then I was like, okay, I need to leave. So, anyways, I just got my lashes done. I will leave her Instagram. I decided to do brown lashes this time. And I definitely like the color brown on me. So, I think I'm going to do brown from now on. These are just a little bit longer than y'all know I normally do or get. But it's mostly the spikes and the wisps that are long. So, when we were talking about it when we are done next time, I just probably won't do because I, I don't know if you can see like up close it's just the spiky ones that are really long but the rest of it is like the normal length that i usually like that's a little bit shorter so when i get a fill then we'll just change those out so 
I don't know, I'm out of breath. I'm headed home. I think we're gonna go home and do, well, we gotta start taking my braids out because I literally have a hair appointment tomorrow. So I'm gonna go start taking my hair down. And I wanna do like a hot oil treatment and all that good stuff. I'm hoping I can finish taking my hair down in like the next couple hours and then it doesn't take me all day and night. But I just hate going anywhere if my hair's not done. Like, so I don't be taking it out until right before my next hair appointment because Oh, uh, who was gonna walk around like that? Not me. Okay, I gotta get some lunch immediately though because I haven't ate this morning. I didn't, it took two and a half hours, which I guess I know that's how long it takes to get your lashes done, but somehow in my head, I just didn't think it was gonna be that long and my stomach is in my back. Oh, also yesterday after I had that colonic, I was fine and then I ate dinner, y'all. That one, I was stuck. You know, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm never doing this ever again. And I'm trying to make healthy decisions, but I'm low key craving Taco Bell because I'm about to be over. Okay. <sighs> I'm really about to just cut my hair in the bathroom and then probably sit down on the couch and take them out, say goodbye to the braids. Everybody's like, we want to see your natural hair natural only for this little bit okay did i tell y'all what we're doing tomorrow it's not me thinking my hair is really that long but i always cut my braids way shorter than i mean i don't cut them as short as i probably should okay i'm gonna cut it in sections huh. this is the worst part Now, I know my hair is shorter, but it's like, I don't know how much short. Okay, because your girl got inches now. I got a little bit of hang time. And I don't want to cut it off. You know what I'm saying? That low-key might have been too short. Do I need to stop playing? I really feel like my hair is that long, though. I'm not even going to cut. Let me check the braids make sure I ain't cutting my hair. Okay. Are we getting a big chop tomorrow? Or are we getting a trim is the question of the day. over braids but what am I gonna do with my hair somebody please convince me to get a closure sew-in or a closure quick weave because I feel like that will solve all my problems you know what I'm saying but then I feel like everybody says it's a low maintenance style but I feel like is it really a low maintenance style I'm not convinced I need to find this comb That's why I can't stand living in a house with boys who have hair because then they just steal all your stuff. My hair ties, my rubber bands, everything. I need my little small comb to take these out. All right, let's take the shoes off. I don't want to do it in my bed. I think I'm going to sit on the floor in my living room, watch a show, probably turn on Married to Medicine, eat a little snack. Take my hair down. I want to finish before it's time to pick the boys up from school. Here's the comb that I needed. You're talking the things that you say, but they make you feel alright. And I catch a vibe and the time that I look in your face. Tell me why you look so fine, baby girl. I see you. Ooh, love, girl, you're the 
love is crazy, girl, love is crazy. You were me, girl, you were busy. Other girls them only really want to play me, but when I date with you, I realize love don't cost the dime. Love is crazy, you were me, girl, you were busy. All them other girls they really want to play me, but when I date with you, love don't cost the dime. My baby love don't cost the dime. Where your natural hair, y'all say? <laughs> uh, I'm literally cracking up. Cause when everybody's like, yeah, straight hair natural, how it is? <laughs> Obviously I need to wash it, but this is what it looks like. All taken out of the braids. Okay, who don't got hair? Who? Oh, who? Oh, it's growing back, period. Now let's wash it. This part is long. Okay. Hurry. Okay. Whew. This is why I can't my hair is so thick. I never used to have really thick hair, but then when I start taking Nutrafol, it's trying to make my hair so thick. The, 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 the thick. Okay. We need shampoo conditioner. These lights die so fast. I want my money back. My hairline looks receding. Okay. Can you see me? I'm gonna use the Olaplex shampoos and conditioners and deep leave-in treatment, but I'm also gonna use the Miel's Rosemary Leaf Conditioner. I'm gonna mix the oil and the conditioner and probably leave it in my hair and do like a mask bun type thing. I really need to take like an everything shower, but I think I'm gonna do it in the morning. I don't know. I really just want to wash my hair. Like, that's all I want to do right now. Like, I really want to wash my hair. But I don't feel like I need to shave and all of that. But maybe we can do that at another time. <laughs> I really should just do it right now. But I just really don't feel like it. I'm too tired. Okay. Let's wash my hair. I was thinking that could possibly be a cute transition. But not really. Immediately put it in a bun. Okay, this is what my hair looks like. I fresh out the shower. I always just put it in a bun. 
till we get it done tomorrow. Got a deep conditioner in it. I'm just gonna let it sit where my bonnet while I sleep. I was gonna put it in two braids, but I'm tired. You know when you take a really hot shower and you wash your hair, you're just like tired? That's why I couldn't do my everything shower right now. Cause I'm like, I need water, probably an energy drink, a whole lot, a lot. It's just so poofy right here too. I can't even get it slick. That's my bonnet on, call it a day. I'm really about to dry my hair a little bit. Just so I don't sleep on it wet and get sick. Boom. Okay, well, our hair is officially washed, which means the last part of this glow up is getting our hair done, which is really like what I feel like is gonna be the icing on the cake. I mean, the lashes do it too, but your hair done, I'd rather have my hair done. You know what I'm saying? So, here tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, and then hopefully we will be feeling and looking like a bad baby. You got me? So, see you tomorrow. In braids for okay. the past like nine months because okay. I cut my hair, I bleached it, and it fried. So like the ends are dead, and I'm trying to like grow get it back out. Healthy. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna get a trim and yeah. Once it's straightened and trimmed, do you prefer more of a straight look or? Um, I like a little curls. bit of curls. Okay. Yeah. Where do you like to put your part? Um, middle or side? It doesn't really matter okay. to me. Whatever. It is. Yeah. Looks best. Yeah. Do you have a goal length that you want to reach? I wanted my hair to get, okay, so my hair used to be really long and healthy, and it was like down my back, so like of course eventually I would like to get it back yes, there, okay. but. Yeah, the color. Was, yeah. It'll do it. It did it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never really lost my curl pattern or. Which is good. But the color, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's to do. And then I've had kids, so my edges have fell out like three times, oh, so. <laughs> That is normal. And it's not like it always happens just around yeah. the hairline. Yep. So it's going back. Yeah. Okay, hey, when you're ready. Okay. You can sit here. Not super dry, so that's always that's good. It feels dry. So <laughs> you know, once you put water on it, that'll tell you if it's really dry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I have low porosity hair. Really? What makes you think? It? Because I feel like it doesn't take well to product, like it kind of just sits on top. Uh huh. And like every, when I get in the shower sometimes and like I get it wet, the water kind of just like beads up and falls off. So, okay. I don't know. I feel like it's more on the drying side. Have you ever been a low for us It would take forever for your hair to wet down. Okay. So, Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm lying to myself. Okay, so I like to do two clarifying shampoos just to make sure all the beauty is off of your hair. So okay. you make sure it's nice and flowy, and then I do a moisturizer. Okay. How did you um, find me? Did somebody refer you? Or? No, I think just on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair yet. So I was like, I'm gonna start the year with the trim. It's always press. good. And Make sure see. It's yeah, I want to grow it back, but I don't want to leave it in its curly state or so do you big think chop you it. Wanna... Well, let's start here. Do you ever really wear it curly? So, when it was healthy and long, I did wear it curly, but I didn't ever like wear it down and style it. I just kind of wore it in like buns, or I would wear like mini twists or mini braids a lot. Okay. Just to like keep it in protective styles. Okay. But now that I'm older and I do more things, I feel like I can't get away with doing that as much. Cause like yeah. before I can go out, two braids, no problem, you know, so. But yeah, so. And I just kept it in braids for like the last nine months. I'm like, okay, I don't know what else to do with it at this There's point. Honestly, you're trying to get your hair healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Like They're so down. damaging, yeah. Yeah, so you just got these little pieces. That yeah. Mm -hmm. The front is always the first part to get damaged. <laughs> you start doing a little too much, you will see it. Yeah, the and middle then, is usually okay, and the back. Okay, it can yeah. stand a little more. That front, no. <laughs> Your sides are naturally a little shorter, so you can't really 
see it. So this is the side of your hair that's shorter than that. This yeah, this side is shorter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by a, it's kind of by a lot. It was, is. I was I'm trying like, to figure out. I was looking at it when I got out the shower and I was brushing my hair. I was like, maybe I'm tripping, but I was like, no, that side. But I think that's always happened to me. I don't know. And some people say it's because the way I sleep, but I'm like, it I, could be. I sleep on every side. I sleep wild. I sleep on every side. So it's like I don't have a favorite. I don't got a favorite spot, but that side of my hair does grow a lot faster. I don't know what it is. Cause like, even I'm looking at the front, mm -hmm. the front is all the way down to my shoulder, and it's like struggling right here. Right here. Yeah. Cause this side you don't see it as much. Mm -mm. I mean, <laughs> the thing is, it's not too bad. Cause even if you decide to wear it over or flip yeah. it, it'll still blend. But I would just be mindful of this side, just okay. to make sure. Maybe I probably, I might have did that one day. Sister are happy. Cut. Okay. That's what I was, I was thinking it, but I'm like, let me not assume. It's looking like something was cut. I might do a little DIY trim, but I didn't think it was that. <laughs> Dude, that's why I'm saying it looks like. Don't go too deep on trim now. And then it's hard when you're gauging cutting your braids. Because I'll be like, my hair ain't really that long. It'd be long well, what you think. Yeah. <laughs> I might have cut a braid a little bit too short here or there. <laughs> New hair, who's this? I'm waiting for the curls to fall a little bit, but okay, length, like, if y'all know where I started from, it's giving I got hair again, okay? She has hair. I haven't felt my own hair and like my scalp in so long. It feels so light because I've been having braids in for so long, like I almost feel a little bit bald like where is the hair i have fine hair though she said i didn't end up getting obviously like all that hair let me move to a better like can y'all see me hold on the sun is like at a weird angle hidden in the car okay so anyways she said that my hair is actually like in really good shape like obviously the color there like the curl pattern is still a little bit damaged but she was like my hair is healthy she didn't need to trim a lot at all because she said my ends just they looked good so I was like oh well you know period so you can see where the color well I don't know if y'all be able to see it but it's like if you look closely there's some little red pieces where we had went from blonde back to brown to black and that's kind of what it faded out to and then my natural hair color which is up top she was like just keep doing what you're doing she was like if you don't want to wear your natural hair out and curly until like your curl pattern is all the same and you feel comfortable she was like what you're doing with braids is fine and your hair will continue to grow just come get trims quarterly or whatever and low manipulation styles and oil your scalp but yeah i really liked her she was super sweet and i will definitely be back for another silk press and trim God bless her for listening to my entire life story and all of my problems because one thing about me is I'm gonna get in the chair and I'm gonna overshare. What you wanna talk about? Cause now we're talking about my dad, we're talking about my childhood, like I'm gonna tell you everything. So just don't worry about it, okay? I love that. Just thank you for that uh, therapy, therapy dupe. So yeah. Only thing I'm gonna focus on is making sure I don't cut my hair too short when I do the braids because one side of my head is like a lot shorter. Not a lot, but it's it's noticeably shorter. So I think I'm gonna do half up, half down until the curls fall a little bit. But I'm gonna see y'all at the house because I know some of y'all be tired of me talking in the car, child. So I'll see you when I get home. Okay. Let's see. Hold on, let me adjust my pants. Got my fupa coming out and everything. See how long it is in the back. What are we working with? Huh? And it's curled so hard. I can't even pull it in the back, so it can't be that long. <sighs> okay. Hair. I feel like whenever I have my hair short and straight, it's just giving I'm a mother. Who's 50 year old grandma am I? <laughs> But that's okay. She cute, she bouncy, she healthy. She, she, she bouncing, okay. Stiff wear, stiff wear. I think we're gonna finish our glow up later tonight because my kids have basketball practice and so I'll have a little, you know, mommy time. 
to like laminate my eyebrows and pluck them and all of that so hopefully this will like you know all come together and i'm about to do my nails i'm not gonna show you guys because my nails are literally gross like if i saw somebody else with my nails i'll probably like throw up you know what i'm saying anyways i got press-ons from glamnetic though so here's one pair i don't know which ones i'm gonna put on and then i got this white one see how i'm trying to hide my fingers from y'all is bad girl okay and then i got these with the chrome tips i think i'm gonna do these because they're like short and iridescent looking and i've been into the short look lately i also got their nail brush on glue looks like this and then i also got their press on removal i look like a mother when is the PTA meeting, Susan? Organic cookies only. That's what it's giving. <laughs> oh, I thought I got the removal. Nope, apparently I got two goose. Lovely. Okay. I would show you my nails before, but I'm not. I'm just about to put them on, do a little prep, do a little buffing, a little alcohol to dehydrate them. Whenever my nails get back healthy, if I'm still wearing press-ons, I'll give y'all a little tutorial. But I really feel like I'm just not the girl to do it anyways. There's too many videos on TikTok that can show you way better, more in intensive prep. I just do a little buff. I mean, sometimes I get out the drill and do all that, but not today. I'm about to film for my podcast. So, you know, that was me trying to get myself some promo for the podcast, but... If you haven't heard it, go tune in, okay? <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's not even, well, it is morning. I was going to start like a vlog, but get ready with me. Oh, I don't even know how to do these anymore. It's rewind. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do a get ready with me. Oh, is it going white? The disrespect. I'm about to go on a date, y'all. Okay, and we're about to get ready together. This is obviously the before. A little 360. I'm trying to light this candle because I'm trying to set a vibe. I'm trying to be new year, new me. It doesn't have to be like a super special occasion to light a candle, to like play your favorite music while you shower or podcast or whatever. Speaking of podcasts, have you checked out mine? See, I gave myself free promo. <laughs> that was really unintentional. But anyways, like I said, we're about to get ready. We have a date and I don't know what I'm doing to my hair. I don't know what I'm going to wear. And I have an hour, which to some people might be a long time. But for me, when I don't know anything, and then this is what happens when you don't wrap your hair. Slay. Because I guess I split out this side in my sleep. I don't know. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and just hurry up and get into it we need to take a shower okay it's a it's a morning date too so i'm like in my pajamas because it's like it's the morning like we're going on like a day date because it's like when you're a parent you have to go when the kids are at school so um i need a hair tie or something a clip or something i think i have an idea of what i want to do with my hair i think i'm gonna wear it half up half down Put a little curl in it with a little dot with the dice. I don't know if I actually am gonna curl it or try to blow dry it straight. But this is why I can't wear my natural straight hair because I don't know how to act. Okay, I thought I broke it there. Have mercy. All right, shower cap on. In order to save time for this video, I'm going to show you guys what products and talk about it right now that I'm going to use while I'm in the shower. And I normally, if you're not new here, then you know. When I do my get ready with me's, I have like a fragrance routine. Like I like to match all my products fragrances. But today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm using products that don't necessarily all go perfectly together like the names of them are not all the same smells but to me they complement each other well and i've been using it for like the past week or so but it it smells real good so if you want to smell real good listen up <laughs> 
Now, preparation is really key and I should have taken like an everything shower last night, but I didn't, so we're here now. And an everything shower doesn't mean that you have to take an hour long shower. It just means you have to get in there and you have to handle business and really get get done what needs to be done, okay? I'm about to sneeze. One, two, two. Bless me. I think that's everything. Okay, so that's like this right here. This right here is my sweat. Okay, so first up when we get in the shower, we're gonna use an oil cleanser to cleanse our body, okay? Basically the point of a oil cleanse or a double cleanse in the shower is just to like get your body clean and then you go in with like your fragrance soap that you like. I really like this Bioderm one. I've gone through like five of these bottles. It's on my Amazon subscriptions. Like it comes every like it lasts a while so like probably like every one to two months. It's almost gone right now so I'm probably gonna open up the bottle and just like shake it out. But I just use this and oil cleanse my body with my exfoliating um this so you basically don't you get one of these one of these all over the body but that's basically like your first cleanse and then you're also getting to exfoliate your skin a little bit so after i go in with this cleanser then i'm gonna go in with my scented body wash and this is my i can say it's my new favorite like i am obsessed with the smell of this it's the saltaire golden hour oil infused nourishing body wash and I personally thought it smelled like pineapples, but the actual fragrance in here is like passion fruit. And it's like passion fruit, but like with a little hint of champagne or so. I don't know. It smells so good. Like it's literally smell. And you can trust me. Okay, you can trust me. This right here is mine. Okay, it smells so good. The fragrance doesn't really last that long outside of the shower though. I will say that. That's why everything in the routine is not like going based off this. If Sauter ever sees this, make this in a body lotion, a perfume, an oil, a something you could put on your skin. This would be perfect for summer vacation. Any time of the year, honestly, because it smells that good, but specifically summer because it's very tropical, warm, and fruity. Oh, I love this. It pairs really well with the way St. Bart's and it's been forever since I did a body scrub, so I'm going to use this scrub. And then also, I haven't detoxed my armpits in a while, and the worst time to be musty is on a date. So, I'm gonna do that while I'm in the shower. Basically, the way I detox my armpits in the shower is I just use Panoxyl. I put it under my underarms, and then I complete the rest of my shower, and then rinse it off right before I get out. And basically, the benzoyl peroxide in the Panoxyl kills the odor causing bacteria and then you won't smell. I was also gonna shave, but I'm gonna wear long sleeves, so I'm not gonna shave, but my armpits are hairy, because I've been doing waxing instead of shaving, so. I just haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet, so the hair is staying, okay? And then for feet, you always gotta have clean feet, okay? I love this, I've been using this for years. If you've been here for the longest, you know, like me and this, could've got it really bad. Also, they have like the cute little, like foaming foot sponges you can use but i feel like this is a little bit more practical because it lasts longer and then you can pair it with a brush it's just less expensive um to use that way and i like that i can just spray my feet so i'm gonna use this to clean in between my toes and then this is the feminine wash i've been using currently so it's cocoa wash by truly i love it it's got lavender tea tree oil jojoba primrose oil and anti-microbial boost it doesn't make my coochie upset, so that's why I like it. And this whole bottle has lasted me probably about maybe two, three months, because I know it is a little bit more on the pricier side for like a feminine wash, but it lasts me a long time. I literally just use like one small pump, get in there, and I do like pre-cleanse my butt and the top of my lady bits with this because it's exfoliating and you do want to make sure you're exfoliating in that area whether you shave wax whatever it help prevent ingrowns and keep the area just like soft and then obviously we want to get it squeaky clean too so that's everything that i'm about to use in the shower we now have 40 minutes to get ready so i'm going to try to knock down my shower to about 10 12 minutes which i think i can do it's really not that hard you just gonna Scrub, 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 scrub. I think we can do it in like 10 minutes, right? Set the clock. Let's get in. Is, uh, I think it's kind of like a bar in a jar. It's 
by PCA and it's basically for hyperpigmentation by the first Okay, now we want to open up the door so we can Super sudsy because it's an oil cleanser, but yeah, you get it. You get it. Out of the shower, obviously. And now, one of my biggest tips for ever and ever and ever is that you always want to do your body odor prevention right when you first get out of the shower like don't wait till you do your hair do your makeup to like throw deodorant on and then leave because you never know what smells you might accumulate while you're getting ready with hot tools a humid environment all of that so when i first get out that's what i'm gonna get into everybody knows if you don't know this is my most proud tip she took over the internet in storm like last year but anyways use a little bit of witch hazel and if you don't know witch hazel is basically an astringent and it will just do kind of like the same thing as panoxyl but it's not as harsh but kill odor back causing bacteria. so i like to use it in areas that you might sweat in a little bit you know in between the butt maybe on the little top of cooch you could do it on your armpits too and then i also use it to like clean my piercings and stuff too so i'm gonna use this first one to do my downstairs wipe and then we're gonna get another one i'm just like cleaning around my piercings kind of like the back of your neck if it needs like a little extra attention or scrub i have some more piercings here and then also it's good to use on a cotton tip is that what's called cotton tip q-tip and to clean out your belly button so okay this one i'm gonna use just to wipe off my piercings because you know piercings they do collect a little a little smell and i don't ever take these specific earrings out of my ears and then the one on my side i don't take out either so they can get a little it does not like smell musty but it just smells like you know, spoiled you know what i think so anyways even inside ears i just clean my ears the other day and my next clean i'm i'm pretty certain of it but next we're gonna brush our teeth so that we, we can put on some lip care because one thing i love to do while i'm getting ready is to put on like a lip mask a lip treatment something really hydrating to just kind of like my lips like nice and plump and full <clears throat> and while i'm brushing my teeth i'm gonna be thinking about what i'm wearing this is the toothpaste that i'm using i absolutely love it it's from lush if you're like an organic girly or like clean ingredients or you just want to try something cool and new i really like this and it lasts a long time and it's the cool mint jelly toothbrush i'm 
I'm also going to put on my deodorant really fast too before I forget. This is the deodorant that I use. It's the Crystal Coconut and Vanilla. To me, it, it has like a little scent of coconut and vanilla, but it really doesn't smell like anything. But I swear by this, it's aluminum free. And I know the girls are going to come for me because everybody's like, aluminum free doesn't work. It doesn't work if you don't detox your armpits first. Um, but it does work. Okay, thank you. Like I said, sometimes my armpits get used to a certain deodorant. So I have had to switch them a couple of times because like I used to use native and then my armpits got used to native. And then I used um, loom and then my armpits started getting used to loom. So then I switched over to this and I haven't had any problems for a couple of months. So this went on right now. I mean, if you want to use aluminum, that's, I don't really think there's anything wrong with aluminum. Honestly, like we've all been using it for years and years. I know they say it's bad for you, but honestly, like do whatever you want. But if you want an option, that's what I use. So moving on, brush my teeth. If you don't want to have one of these, you can't go here, girl. This is the one, these are the two things that are mandatory here, okay? This right here, you need this. You will be so surprised how much gunk comes off your tongue. I don't care if you brush your teeth and you really think your mouth is clean. Get one of these, okay? I really like these from the Grin brand. They're plastic and disposable as opposed to the metal ones because they're smaller and you can really get back in like the crevices. I used to have the big metal reusable one for a long time. Ditched that, got these, and I haven't been back since. So I'm gonna do it, but not on camera, cause it's not aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and I basically scrape, rinse, and repeat until it's like clear or there's nothing left on the tongue scraper. So really get in there. Now follow up with your favorite mouthwash. I'm using Listerine today. I do like the Smart Mouth one, but I'm out of it. I need to go hygiene shopping. I'm actually like out of a lot of stuff, um, but. okay and then that's it for my oral hygiene in the morning i have more in-depth oral hygiene routine that i do at night like flossing oil pulling and that kind of stuff but in the morning times i usually just keep it pretty simple okay now i'm like what do we do i haven't got ready for a date in so long i'm just used to like i guess my next step in my everyday normal routine is like doing my skincare let's do a time check too okay we're officially down to 30 minutes sorry 30 minutes it's 9 59 we have to leave here by 10 30 i also forgot to put my phone on the charger i need to go do that really fast okay so am skincare currently going in with the glow recipe i don't put it on the pad i just put it on my face and this is my toner <sighs> i'm really trying to work on like tightening my pores here and here like my nose area this part gotta let everything dry down i'm trying to hurry like this 30 minutes i don't know it's gonna be enough but one thing about me is i'm not gonna be late i am not a late girly next up vitamin c this is the one i'm currently using by skin Suicles. I feel like this is like an extra bougie step, but I just really like it. And then snail mucin. I was gonna do like one of those satisfying pulls. It wasn't giving. I did a little bit. Okay, anyways, moving on. Clearly, I don't know how to be in a rush. <laughs> I'm really scared because I don't know what to do with my hair. I have two outfits picked out, which I know will work. But I just don't know which one I want to wear because I start who starts their period on date night. I mean date morning. You know what I'm saying? I literally just started my period five minutes ago. I'm a little bit irritated. Yeah. It's getting upsetting. And I have two outfits in my but I don't know which one I wanna wear. Hmm. Cover the skincare. This is the Cetaphil SPF 35 plus moisturizer. Gotta keep the skin hydrated. skincare is done next we're gonna do i need to do my body care see i was like i know i'm forgetting something okay we're gonna do lotion really quickly this is the body lotion that i'm using today it's the fenty perfume so this is one of those body butters that just has like a very it's very fragrant and that's what i like about it because it just like really comes off the skin and it, it, you smell really really good so it's i don't know what the notes are 
in here are but i was talking to a girl at sephora and she was basically saying like mix this with something like a little bit fruitier for your perfume and they go really well together and her tip was so the perfume that we're going to use is like very fruity and florally and this is it's still sweet but it's got a little bit of muskiness in it but like i said it smells really really good so i'm gonna apply this all over my body it would be really good if you had like a unscented body oil to mix with this because this one by itself is very moisturizing like it's got like oils in it i can tell already but if you wanted like just that extra glow you could add like a little body oil or something to it or put on a little shimmer with it it's winter time so i'm not gonna really have any of my skin out but you know it's summertime future you gotta do the chest the decollete wash i'm getting hot in here i'm gonna have to open the door it's getting hot in here while that's sitting on my body, I'm going to do my perfume as well. So we're going with the Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. This is a very juicy, fruity scent. Like, uh, that's the best way I could describe it. The name describes it perfectly. It smells super good. So I'm going to put it on my skin and let it dry down and then spray again on my clothes as well. This is one of my favorite mask it's the lawless forget the filler i like this one because it's hydrating but it also plumps your lips and kind of helps reduce any like lines or signs of dehydration in your lips no we got to do my makeup too we have like 15 20 minutes no 25 minutes it is so hot in here i think it's the robe i'm about to take the robe off and just put my pajama shirt back on while i do my hair because i'm way too hot okay hold on for my life okay let me open up this door Whew, let some cold air circulate up in here this candle probably has it hot too hair isn't she lovely i think i'm gonna do like a half up half down with like a little clip situation i got these cute little clippies from tj i'm just gonna use my dyson to try to repair i literally don't have a flat iron so I, which I didn't even think about. I literally don't even have a flat iron. I do have a hot comb. So if worst comes to worst, I guess I'll use it. But I'm going to try to just fix the damage with the blow dryer. Did that work completely? Mm, I'm not convinced, but... We're on limited time here, so it's gonna have to do what it does. Girl. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have time to go through the whole thing. It's really because I don't have a flutter and I can't even like repress it. Okay, okay, when in doubt. I guess we ponytail it out. We'll have to try ha hairstyles another time. I don't even know. I'm not keeping my hair straight anyways. Everybody keeps telling me, yeah, just wear your natural hair, wear your natural No. No. And I believe that y'all are the ops. You told me to wear my natural hair. That's what I believe. You don't want to see me win. Because who? I'm really just trying to grow my hair out, so... I'm going to keep it in the braids. This is so sad right now. I'm so sad, so sad. Okay, now I know what I'm going to wear because how my hair is playing me right now. I really only have one option. It's a little bit more casual, so that's what I'm for. Okay, I don't want a lot. Just want a little bit. A little bit. Where was this stuff all my life? Because I I need it. Like I I needed it. I want like one swoop. I don't want a whole bunch of swoop diddy doops. It's so frizzy already, but like Am I gonna ruin my silk press already and put a whole bunch of product in my hair? Like, I guess. Okay. Two things for a little bit of shine. I'm gonna use the Chi. I can't believe I messed up my silk press already. This is so sick. It's okay. 
You live and you learn. You live and you learn. I definitely just don't want any like curly looking edges. The edges need to be looking somewhat of sleek. I just don't know why God didn't give me girly superpowers. Okay. I'm gonna do a little. If I can get it open. Got to be. Just to help with the frizziness. I kind of want my ponytail a little bit higher, but I guess it is what it is. I'm trying to see, can I do it in like a clip? Is a clip a moment? We don't know. We shall come back to it. If it's not, we'll just put it back in the ponytail. We have 10 minutes. So, I think this is everything I need. I think it's not going to take me that long, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going in with the Yummy Skin Serum by Danessa Myricks. It's just like a light skin tint. Y'all know I'm not a professional makeup doer, so I can't really, you know, just get into, get into it. I don't know what I'm doing right now, honestly. I thought I was going to have some time to trial and error, but now we have 10 minutes. So, we're going to make the best of it. I'm probably just going to, like, build this up. One layer and then maybe like two. I don't know how to use this brush. It's like painting your face, but I'm not a good painter. So that's not good for me. Okay. I'll be forgetting about my eyelids sometimes, so I gotta make sure I do my eyelids. I'm really sorry, y'all. I thought this was gonna be more put together. It's giving chaotic vibes, and I apologize. Just, you know, actually, I don't apologize. Okay, I can't apologize for being myself. Am I gonna have brush marks in my face? I need like a mirror to look closely at this. And I need to bring it all the way down to my neck because I be freaking to do that. And then I be looking crazy. I don't wanna look crazy to do it. I feel like this, that would've like low key just been applied better if I would've just used my hands, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. This is not the color concealer I need. I'm trying to see how it looks. Does it look okay? Does it look fine? Do I look crazy? Okay. It's hard getting ready to when you're trying to like look in the viewfinder. Concealer. One day I'm gonna be that girl. Okay, at doing this. And there was gonna be like, oh, we need a tutorial. We need, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, period. But today is not the day. My get ready with me's are never tutorials. Just vibes, okay? It's just a vibe. I don't have any contour or anything bronzer to like warm my face up. But I'm just going to put a little blush on. This is the Rare Beauty in the color Hope. I got a blush brush, but I don't know how you use the blush brush. Because, like, my instinct is to swirl. But it's like the brush doesn't swirl. So I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I mean, it ends up blending out eventually, but it just doesn't feel natural. Like, that's what a blush brush is supposed to feel like when it swirls. Maybe it's just not a good one. I don't know. I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is also from Rare Beauty. This is in the color Mesmerize. I'm just going to put it higher than my blush. A little bit on my nose. Just a little razzle-dazzle for fun. Because why not? We probably have like five minutes at this point. Yeah, we don't have time for something fancy right now. I'm going to use the same brush to blend this out. It's really pretty though. Ooh, I should have like took it up there, but anyways, I'm not a pro. I'm probably not ready for the elite level. It just like caked up all on this side. On this side, it's fine. Was it, that's why I be using my fingers. Nobody has time for this. Okay, anyways, brush my lashes out. It's just gonna have to be musty, dusty, crusty. And then my man's gonna be like, that's why you shouldn't put that shit on your face. <laughs> but uh, girls just wanna have fun, okay? I'm trying to hit my grown woman looking put together era but i guess if it's cakey it's not getting put together and i think it's raining too y'all it like was randomly storming last night lashes are they brushed they are brushed okay i love this eyebrow gel okay one thing that you could get out of this if you can't get anything else because i know this is a horrible tutorial i really do like this brow gel it leaves your brows stuck in place and it doesn't make them white i want to try the refi one too but this one is the Rare Beauty, and I like it just fine. 
Oh, I think I like this little life. The crunchy is the crunchy things, the crunchy things we do. Okay. Is it gonna get any better than that? I don't know. Okay. That's all I had for like trying to put something on my face. I don't really do a lip combo because I haven't really found anything that I like necessarily on my um face. But yeah. I don't know what to do with my hair. Ponytail or clip? Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Okay, let's see this. American Eagle jeans. I really want to see if I can like I don't wanna put a tampon on. But I don't know if I can get away with wearing these with these period panties that I have. I'm about to see what it looks like. If you can't tell, I'm gonna wear them. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. I gotta put a bra on. Okay, this is the OOTD. My purse is downstairs. I have on these little pointed toe kitten heels. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these glasses or not, but. Sweater is from Zara, the pants are American Eagle, and then I'm just going to put my perfume. I don't really like these glasses either, but you know, it's, it's just something. Give a little bit of a vibe. I'm going to take this in my purse with me. I might wear these on like ooh, the top of my head or something. Oh, I really need an undershirt underneath this, but I don't. Thanks for getting ready with me. Hopefully, I want to do, I just want to start back doing get ready. I like doing get ready with me's. Um, I'm not going to promise that they're going to be better. They might be chaotic. They might, you know, I might not know how to do my makeup. But, you know, that's just the, it's just life. 